All right. It says we are live. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Let me turn down our uh, music. I love it. I <laughs> Put love my phone it. on do not disturb because I am That's so good excited for this conversation. Same. Let me turn this music off. Okay. Yes. Okay, Miss Science. So yes. I'm not going to hold. I'm not going to wait. You know, I want to be respectful of your time. You're a mama. I'm a mama. So yes. well, the folks will join when they join. And if they don't join, then they can catch the replay because I already know you come to bring it. Yeah. Um, let me yes. just start by saying I'm so excited and thankful that um, we are doing this series again. Man, it is easy to start something, but to be consistent with it, I think is the true test. And so, um, especially with what I've been going through um, this year, this past mm -hmm. month in August with my health. Um, I really had to push and fight to get here, but we are here. <laughs> Amen. Are Amen. Here, and I know I'm not alone. I know I'm not the only person going through things in life. We all have right. our struggles and our highs and our lows. Um, but I'm just so thankful that all of you ladies said yes. Um, because especially for me, it, it couldn't be a more critical time for me to talk about self-improvement and especially self-care. Um, yes. So first of all, thank you so much um, for being willing uh, for your yes and being willing to come and bless the people with your knowledge. Um, as I've shared last year on our previous broadcast, you know, I have the pleasure, Miss Sonia is my friend, um, but okay. this is her work. This is her livelihood. So she does not play, okay? You are getting <laughs> an expert um, psychotherapist, owner of Modus Life LLC uh, with us tonight. So thank you again, Ms. Sonya. And why don't you take a moment to introduce yourself, tell the, little, tell the people a little bit more about you, um, and then we'll get into the conversation. Absolutely. Well, first, thank you, Jessica, for actually doing this again. I had so much fun last year doing it. So excited that you were able to recover enough to be able to put this back together with the same ladies. I I think it's a tremendous initiative and definitely something that's very important for us to all consider, especially since September is Self-Improvement Month. Um, just really pausing to, to stop before we hit the fourth quarter uh, when a lot of entrepreneurs press the gas and go. Um, but this is a time that I look forward to now every year where we stop, we reset, and really just check in with ourselves. So yes. thank you for, you know, honoring the call to continue this series. Yes. Looking forward to next year already. So yes. Just wanted to celebrate you as well. For yes. A well, thank you. Um, thank you. No problem. And it's always good when you get called back to do it. Amen. So. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> it's always good. So, you know, I appreciate it. But as Jessica said, my name is Sonia Fraser. I am a licensed mental health counselor in the state of Florida, and a self-care specialist. I help women of color reimagine self-care and partner with them to create an individualized and sustainable practice. So I'm also the owner and operator of Modus Life LLC, like Jessica said, um, and that's where I offer the individualized self-care coaching and personal development or self-care workshops. So yes. I love seeing people flourish and live well. So yes. as Justin said, this is my work. This is my passion. This is my calling and my purpose. And I'm just here to show up and 
spread the gospel and self-care to as many people as I can um, because it is important and, you know, it's something that we really do need to be mindful of for a number of reasons. Yes. Yes. Woo. Well, let me tell you something. I don't know why I didn't, but I didn't come prepared with my (laughs) tissues, baby. (laughs) Already? Already, Jessica? Already? Oh, my goodness. All I did was introduce myself. (laughs) We only on the introduction. Listen, <laughs> y'all know me. The waterworks, I just let them, let them flow. As Miss Sonia said, it's cleansing. Yeah. That's right. So cleansing I just let it cleanse. Yeah. But I really am. I'm just so, um, just so thankful and grateful. Um, every time we talk about it, it just it bubbles up in me because I'm like, it is so needed. It is more than yeah. just a cliche or a catchy phrase that people love to say um, is really needed because everybody's out here going hard. You know, the world is not an easy place. We got inflation going on. We still have a pandemic going on, even though it's not, you know, not the hot topic anymore. We outside. Um, That's right. (laughs) You know, we just out here living, trying to survive. So, um, Self-care is so important, and I'm just so mm-hmm. excited to dig into this topic um, again this year. So as I was thinking about um, just wanting to keep it simple and thinking about what we could discuss surrounding um, self-care, one word came to mind for me, and mm-hmm. that word was implementation. Mm-hmm. So let's talk about it all day know that it's needed for us in our daily lives, but how do we actually implement it on a day-to-day basis? And that's what I wanted to spend some time talking with you about. I know that you have some thoughts um, and some gems prepared for us to share, excuse me, how we can implement self-care in our day-to-day lives. So um, let's just get right into it, Miss Sonya. What, what let's go. <laughs> No, we're talking about self-care and implementing it in your daily life. That is what we're talking about. That is what I I love to do and help people create those sustainable plans. Because when you think of self-care, you most commonly hear like self-care Sunday. And it's like, why do we have to limit it to one day of a week? Mm -hmm. This does not have to be something that we can only do on Sundays um, or once a month when we go get a massage or once a year when we have a spa day or, you know, whatever the case may be. So mm-hmm. um, we're going to drill down today. So I hope you're ready. I yes. hope people have notebooks Listen. Um, because I have a couple of bullet points Listen. prepared for today. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. And that is so good because, listen, the way my life set up, baby, I can't wait till Sunday. <laughs> You just can't wait. You can't wait. I cannot. Because That's when right. you think about it, you sleep every day. Mm-hmm. You eat every day. You mm-hmm. brush your teeth every day. You shower. You're not waiting to Sunday to do those regular maintenance or routine things that your body needs. Yes. So why do we place that limit on self-care? Yes. Your body needs self-care. Yes. So let me start by actually defining self-care. Let's yes. Let's. I like to make sure that we're all on the same page of what self-care is because, again, you see a lot of things. You think it has to be, you know, the four-star or five-star spa experience or, you know, something super pricey. I'm flying first class, going to Cabo, whatever the case may be. That can be it, but that's not all that self-care can be. Yes. So, The definition I like to use for self-care is the intentional practice of Mm -hmm. taking action to preserve or improve one's mental, physical, spiritual, emotional, or financial health. Yes. So. I think we we need, I think think we need to run it back. Run it back. back. And I'm going to pause on a couple of words because I really want Three words to think in. Mm-hmm. Um, the intentional. Yes. There's a purpose behind it, right? Yes. The practice. 
So it's nothing that I check off and I complete one time, get the badge, get the t-shirt and don't do it again. Mm -hmm. It's a practice. Yes. It's nothing that I have to do perfectly because it's a practice. Yes. I'm practicing. I'm getting better. Yes. I'm trying again. I'm trying new things. Yes. So the intentional practice. That's right. Of taking action. Yes. So I'm not just writing it in my notebook. I'm moving on it. Mm -hmm. It's something that I do. It's a verb. It's an action. I have to do something. So the intentional practice of taking action to preserve one's mental, your mind, Mm -hmm. physical, your body, spiritual, whatever that means to you, Mm -hmm. (laughs) Um, emotional, so your feelings. Mm-hmm. And we have them and we experience them. Or financial. Mm-hmm. Um, your coin. Because it, it, it all ties in. All of these things can impact your well being, your day to day function, your interactions with others, your interactions with yourself. Yes. Your business goals, your business yes. achievement. So. It's all, it, it's all related. And that's mm-hmm. what I like to tell people. It's, and I think to your point earlier, a lot of people ignore it or ignore the importance of self care. Like it's a luxury. No, it's a necessity. So that's right. those, those are the conversations I love to have, um, based upon. That's that. right. When I, when we were coming back again for this second annual, um, and preparing for this, I'm like, Miss Sonia, you have to give the definition that we gave last year. And even just hearing it again this year, it's like it clicked. It's intentional, as you said, it's practice. And in my mind, as you're going through those components, I'm like, every day I need to be waking up, making sure that I have checked each of those boxes, even though it is a practice, but just making sure that I for my well-being, my whole mm-hmm. well-being, making sure that I have done something that contributes mm-hmm. to the self-care of each of those components. So mm-hmm. I love that definition. I hope people are writing it down, taking note of it, because it's a simple way to remind ourselves of how to pour into ourselves in each of those ways that are so important. So thank you. Thank you for that. You're welcome. You're yes. welcome. You're welcome. Yes. Yeah. So let's go ahead and get into how do we let's take that action and, yes. and really break down how do we make this a daily activity? How do we make this a daily intention? Yeah. Um, because it can sound daunting. It can be overwhelming. We're here to, you know, keep it 100 percent real. Yes. We, our mind probably goes to I don't have time. Mm-hmm. I'm doing ABC. I'm a mom. I'm a partner. I'm a spouse. I'm a caregiver. I'm a daughter. I'm a niece. I'm a cousin. I'm a, you know, um, all of the things. <laughs> employee. I'm, yes. you know, I'm yes. an employer. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> I'm self employed. Yes. You know, so I got, you know, a thousand and one things already racing in my mind. Mm-hmm. Um, I always feel like I'm running against the clock. How can mm-hmm. I add one more thing to my plate? Mm-hmm. But I, I like to challenge people and say, how could you not? Yes. How yep. could you not yep. add something to yourself? Because everything I mentioned was about somebody else. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How could you not? Or how could you neglect yourself and do all the things for all the people? Speaking the word, yes. <laughs> how could you not? How could so, you? Not? How could you not? Mm-hmm. How could you not? Um, and I like the fact that this year, the word that you you came with was implementation. Mm-hmm. So I, when preparing for today, I and you'll appreciate this um, yes. with your journalistic background, yes. uh, Jessica. The information gathering questions, the who, what, when, where, how, and why. Yes. We're going to walk through those. Yes. Because those are the core questions that I think 
help create and maintain a sustainable self-care practice? Mm -hmm. If you have a response to each one of those questions, the how could I not? That's right. Becomes a little bit easier. And if you're looking for a behavior change or to start a new habit, you have to have a reason, Mm -hmm. you know, for it to last. Because you could be tired. You could have a million things going on. But mm-hmm. if you always circle back to why am I doing this? Why is this important to me? Do I already have a plan in place mm-hmm. for self-care? Yes. It's easier just to do the practice when you already have it mapped out. Yes. So we're going back to that intentional work. Yes. So if we're intentional about it by answering these questions, we're more likely to to keep up with it. And even if you don't do it every day, you're more likely to get back on it. Um, That's right. You know, I missed it today. That's right. Let me be more intentional tomorrow. (laughs) Yes. And get it in. (laughs) So let's start with, um, let's start with the who. Okay. Let's start with the who. The who is you. Mm -hmm. The who is you. The who is you. It's not your, it's it's no one else. This is your practice. Mm -hmm. Like I said in my intro, individualized. So my self-care is not your self-care. It might be, it might not be, but it is definitely individualized. Mm -hmm. So, and, you know, I always, you deserve it. Yes. Whenever you're down, you deserve it. Yes. Don't feel bad. Oh, because to be honest, it might take you saying no to something else so you can say yes to yourself. Yes. I might have to say, no, I cannot do for 10 to 15 minutes because I need that time just to yes. be quiet and yes. be still in the morning before yes. everybody in the household gets up and starts mm-hmm. demanding things of me. I might need that time in the morning to fill myself up a little bit to be mm-hmm. able to deal with the demands of the day. So yes. no, I might not be able to, you know, snooze or sleep in a little bit longer, but I'm saying yes to myself. Mm-hmm. So I love that point, Miss Sonia. And you and I, um, you know, I share, I, I, again, folks, I get the privilege of, <laughs> <laughs> I get the privilege me up. and the oh. honor of um, <laughs> getting all of these downloads and gems in my in my private therapy sessions. Um, But I had that revelation too. And, you know, I shared with you um, a recent experience where um, someone reached out and this is a a business matter, you know, Mm -hmm. um, reached out inquiring about web design services. And um, I said, no. And um, not be not for any other reason than in me evaluating the opportunity, realizing that it wasn't the best opportunity for me. And mm-hmm. to know me is to know how hard it is for me to say no, because I'm saying yes, especially when an opportunity comes along. But mm-hmm. I've gotten to that place, again, especially with what I've gone through, where I'm more calculated with my yeses because just because it may seem, you know, this opportunity comes along, what is it going to cost me? We talked about that too, because there, there is a Mm -hmm. cost, (laughs) there is a cost. So, you know, it felt so freeing for me to be able to say, you know, thank you for considering us, but at this time we're going to decline because this is not the right fit for us. Mm-hmm. And there's power in being able to say no, especially when it's not the right opportunity for you. So right. then when you said that, it's like, OK, yes, the who is you. And sometimes that does mean saying no. So that's awesome. Mm-hmm. So you can say yes to you. That's right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And recently, um, just to round out the who is you. I saw a post on social media. It says, if self-love says I love myself, then self-care says prove it. Ooh. 
<laughs> rewind it, rewind it. I'm gonna put it in the comments. <laughs> if self love says I love myself, then self care says prove it. Mm. So it's going back to that action word and the definition right. of self care. That's good. That's good. Prove it. And prove, prove it. And prove it in the practice. You prove it. Prove in it the in the practice. Be yeah. intentional practice. Yeah. The intentional right? practice. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So that's the who. Now the what. So we already know what self-care is. We defined it. Uh, but let's go back to the definition of implementation, since that's the theme of tonight. I, I found a couple, Jessica, and okay. you know, I'll, I'll read it through. I might pause for emphasis. I'll read it through one time, and then I'll pause and, and break it down a little bit, because um, it's such a good word, and I, it's so fitting, and you're going to hear some similarities um, between implementation and the self-care um, definition. So yes. implementation is defined as the process of putting a decision or plan into effect, mm. execution. Mm. Second definition that I found, the process that turns strategies and plans into actions in order to accomplish strategic objectives and goals. Yes. Yes. So the key word, process, right? Mm -hmm. Process and practice are kind of, you know, cousins mm -hmm. as it relates to words. So process is continual. Mm -hmm. Process is we're going to evaluate every now and then to see if it's still working or if this still serves us, mm -hmm. right? If we're doing a true implementation of something new, you know, yeah. you want to check in, make sure it's working. Mm -hmm. Did I did I renew my, uh, <laughs> you know, my uh, what's it called, Jessica? Subscription. Your website. Yeah. Okay. Did I renew my 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 website domain name? Yes. I, you know, I had yeah. a website, but I didn't know to renew it. That's right. Then, you know, I don't, I don't have a website anymore because I never circled back. I never checked in with it to see that everything was still where it needed to be. So process. Even, even when you are mm -hmm. employed, you know, mm -hmm. you are having um, monthly check-ins, sometimes weekly check-ins with your superior. Um, you know, as an entrepreneur, um, it is a best practice to check in to, to evaluate your processes to make sure that they are working for you. Otherwise you could be losing money. The, mm -hmm. the domain is a perfect example of that. You know, it's mm -hmm. like, so why wouldn't we use these same practices in self-care and for ourselves? So absolutely. Right. Right. Why, why are we not checking in with ourselves? Mm -hmm. Should that be an appointment on the calendar? Mm -hmm. we did I breathe? Listen, did I breathe today? <laughs> did I did take I? two breaths today? Ooh. Did I? I may not have. Mm -hmm. I, I was just going. Mm -hmm. But I can do it now. And I yeah. can do Yes. You know, um, decision. So if you're making a decision, you got facts, you got information, hopefully. Um, in business, and <laughs> you're being intentional about it, right? Yes. You're not just, oh, somebody, with your example, saying no to that offer um, or that client because it wasn't really aligned with what your business is doing right now or, um, you know, so yeah. you made a decision. It That's was intentional. Right. You considered the cost, you considered, you know, what it would take, you considered um, a number of things. So very intentional. That's right. Um, plan. So that was another word that I highlighted. Yes. Um, because it's something that you're, you're thinking about, you're setting a goal around, setting an intention around to execute 
or act on. Mm -hmm. So very similar um, components of each definition. Um, So I wanted to call that out as what's the what? You know, that's the what of of self-care and Mm -hmm. implementation, how to make it a daily practice. Um, One thing that I help walk through people is what does self-care look like for you? So a part of the what is figuring it out. What does self-care look like, feel like, sound like, smell like, taste like, all the senses? What does what is it for you? Mm-hmm. And that's something that you're going to have to, you know, sit with and do some introspection um, to figure out. Um, yes. And if you need help, I'm here. I love yes. to do that with people all okay. day. Yes. Um, mm-hmm. One of the things that you have helped me to realize, and again, it's, these are may seem like simple things to some people, but For me, it was like big ahas because I think oftentimes, like in business, I can be, you know, very task oriented. I have my to do list. I know what needs to be done, X, Y, and Z. But either I'm, you know, have don't have the gumption, I'm tired, whatever excuse I made for myself. When you say, well, why not make a personal to do list? And it's like, Mm -hmm. like, because usually I'm keeping all of these things in my mind that I have to do. And you use the term, um, then the swirling happens where you're just kind of going around, going around and not really getting anywhere. And for me, when the swirling happens, it can produce the A word, anxiety. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that has helped me to be more conscious about it where I say, okay, well, I have my business to-do list. Let me make my personal to-do list and let me just write everything down, regardless of, you know, if I'm able to accomplish it right now in the near future, at least Mm -hmm. I can write it down and I can get it out of my head so that swirling doesn't happen. And it frees me to be at peace in my mind and to just say, okay, if I don't get to it today, I can get to it another day. So mm-hmm. that's the tip yeah. that I want to share because that really helped me. Yeah, that mental download. Like we all have a lot going on and our yes. mind only has so much capacity. So, you know, I think that's a good point. Just the power in writing it down. Mm-hmm. Even if you don't get to it today, at least yes. you have it. You can come back to it because, you know, all that that I was worried about, that's not really the priority for today. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's not urgent. Or maybe it is, and I need to shift some stuff around, you know, whatever the case may be. But, you know, just getting it on paper to really assess the magnitude of it. Um, and as we talk about implementation, plan, plan around yeah. it, strategize. Yeah. How how, and when am I going to get this done? So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Love it. So we can, yeah, we can move to the why. Um, okay. We can move to the why. So, and this is highly personal as well. Um, why, why Before do you self care? Yeah, yes. we have a question. We got a comment. Someone says oh, a lot comment. of times people find a struggle with their self care due to their work life balance. What mm-hmm. or how would you suggest someone begin implementing a healthy self care routine? Okay. That's a good question. And yes. I would say, just acknowledging that there is a struggle with work-life balance, that's the sign that I probably need to create an intentional self-care boundary, self-care practice. And yes. what that would require are boundaries. So, yes, mm-hmm. you know, stay employed or if you're self-employed, you know, really look at your schedule. Really look at your calendar. How many meetings do you have capacity for a day if you're self-employed? Um, if you're employed by somebody else, do I take my lunch break? Mm-hmm. Do I get up and walk around at any point in my work day? Mm-hmm. Do I drink my water? Am I staying on late unnecessarily? That's Am right. Am I logging in early unnecessarily? Yeah. You know, what what boundaries are in place to where you can have that buffer 
with work-life balance. And I don't want to go on a tangent, but with a lot of people, if you are employed um, with an employer and working remotely or even self-employed working remotely, it can be an overlap of when does work end and when does life begin? Yes. We circle back to that intention. Um, that intentional word in self-care. What is my intention for today? Yes, work is going to be work. Work is going to be there. But do I have a calendar invite to breathe? <laughs> Listen, put it on that. Do I, need, do I need to put that on the Outlook mm-hmm. <laughs> or the, you know, Google Calendar? What What do I need to do for me to make sure I'm maintaining my my sanity, my wellness, my mental, physical, spiritual, emotional, financial health. Mm-hmm. So what am I doing? And like you said too, Miss Sonya, um, it's that practice. So along with the practice is asking those questions before mm-hmm. I before, when I wake up in the morning and before my feet touch the ground, have I poured into myself before I begin pouring into everyone else? Mm-hmm. And that's what that I have to ask myself because I'm guilty of the first thing in the morning is I'm on my phone checking emails. And it's like, wait a minute, I haven't had breakfast. I haven't got up. You know, I haven't really taken the time and the space for me to pour into myself. And so it's like, okay, wait a minute, we got to recalibrate because that mm-hmm. was set tone for your day. Yeah. So I those for little sure. As well, how you how you from when you start up in the morning to when you go at night um mm-hmm. feed into that daily routine mm-hmm. and also where am i working am i working in a dedicated space in my house or where i live or am i working in the bed working uh, on the couch working at the desk working at the kitchen like you know where are the boundaries of my own space mm-hmm. to where i work that's that could good. be big as well. So mm-hmm. I would just figure out, you know, things that you can do, whether it's, you know, go outside sometimes for fresh air. If you just stand out there for five minutes, let the sun hit you, reset, yeah. refresh, that could be a healthy boundary um, if you're having work-life balance uh, yeah. concerns. So. Very good. Thank mm-hmm. you for the question. Great question. Yes. Our, that's awesome. All right. So we were at the why. So the okay. why is what keeps you motivated, right? The why yes. keeps you coming back for more. So why do I like this? And, you know, as you do your practice, I, I think it's important to acknowledge how you feel, regardless of the time um, that you're participating in self-care. Because some days you might just have time to take those three deep breaths and, mm-hmm. and keep it pushing. Or sometimes, you know, you can take, 10, 20, 30 minutes, an hour um, to do something that really fills you. So how do you feel after it? And use that as your why, why you Mm -hmm. keep going back. I've never completed a self-care activity and felt drained. Um, So if I am feeling drained, that's my cue. I need to practice something Mm -hmm. (laughs) ASAP. So, yeah, always, always, always document your why. And I think that that's in business as well. Because sometimes you're not going to feel like doing stuff. But bring it back to the bigger picture Mm -hmm. of the why I'm doing it. So you don't talk yourself out of it. So you Mm -hmm. don't make it um, a negotiable factor in your life or even in your calendar. Um, it's, It's necessary. And it's mm-hmm. as important as anything else that I'm doing. Yes. You know, one thing, Miss Sonia, that you just said that resonated was um, you took inventory of how you were feeling. And I think mm-hmm. sometimes we are going, going, going that we don't even take the pause to take inventory of how we're mm-hmm. feeling, listening to our body. Um, and the experience that I encountered, you know, having gone through this neurotrauma is now I'm heightenedly aware of what's going on in my body. Um, mm-hmm. I'm feeling a headache, but if I'm feeling tired or 
you know, whatever I may be feeling in that moment, I'm just more aware of it. And then Mm -hmm. not only just being aware of it, but then acting on it immediately to find whatever relief I need to find in the moment. Um, Mm -hmm. Whether that be something to get rid of a headache, or maybe it just means that I need to step away from my computer for a moment because I've been Mm -hmm. sitting at it all day. And we know that that's good. So Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to definitely call that out that we as people, we need to take better inventory of how Mm -hmm. we are feeling throughout the day to ensure that we practice our self-care actions if we haven't done so or when we feel like we need to. Mm -hmm. And if you don't do it, that is self-improvement right there. Mm -hmm. You know, how do you improve if you're not checking in? How do you implement something if you're not evaluating its effectiveness? Yes. That's right. Mm-hmm. Got to measure it. <laughs> we do. We do. Awesome. We do. All <laughs> right. We'll go through the other, the last three, the win. Um, so just remember it's an, a process. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's nothing to be stressed out about. Um, that That's anti-self-care. So, you know, just remember, give yourself grace. I say that a lot um, because I, if you're anything like me or a lot of people I know, it's like you're pushing yourself harder than anyone else. You have yeah. higher expectations for yourself, um, which is great, which is great, but it's all about the harmony of it. Mm-hmm. So, you know, sometimes you got to give yourself grace, like today, this was my best and that's it you know mm-hmm. tomorrow it might be a different best and that's okay yes. um also when do you have availability like be honest with yourself if you're not a morning person don't come up with this elaborate i'm gonna wake up at 5 a.m and meditate for 30 minutes and do yoga for an hour no yes. you're you wake up at nine if you want to try to wake up at 8 30 and do something, that's fine if you want right. to try it it's really fine but if it's not successful it's a practice that's right it's a process that we're evaluating learn that maybe i need to do like a 12 or one o'clock midday pause mm-hmm. um because that's usually when i feel tired or drained or need a break need to reset refresh know what works for you or maybe i I'm a night person. I'll I'll do a night routine. Um, but I say that to say, don't be so prescriptive with it as well. Mm-hmm. It doesn't only have to happen in the morning or in mm-hmm. the afternoon or at night. Whenever you feel yourself super overwhelmed, um, irritable, frustrated, I would challenge you to do something. Like I said, even if it's closing your eyes for five minutes, mm-hmm. listening to some soft music for two minutes, Yes. Taking a deep breath yes. really intentionally. Um, you can do it any time. But if you since we're talking about implementation and daily practice, it's good to have a, a general idea of when you want to do it mm-hmm. to be successful. All right. You ready for the where? Ready for the where. So where? Where can you do self-care? You can do it anywhere. It anywhere. is nothing that has to be you know, done in a certain location, anywhere, anytime, that's when you should do self care. Mm-hmm. Um, you can decide if you want a dedicated space, um, if you, you know, set the mood, set the vibe, set the tone, um, that you primarily do your self care practice or read a book or journal or have your cup of coffee or tea or sit and think, whatever the case may be. Um, if you're an outdoors person, okay. Um, maybe I'm sitting out on a porch or a patio, balcony, yeah. um, sitting by a pool, going to the beach or taking a walk, taking a run, whatever, the, driving in the car with the windows down or the windows up, you know, it, it's whatever you need it to be, whatever works for you. Um, so yeah, so it can happen anywhere. Don't be so limited that it has to be some ballroom or you know massage table or anything like that it can be wherever you want it to be yes 
That's awesome. Mm-hmm. And then last but not least, we're at the how. So this is another one of my favorite questions. So how am I going to do this? <laughs> you know, <laughs> how am I going to do this? We're going to make a decision. Like we said in the implementation, definitely, we're going to make a decision mm-hmm. to do it. We we circle back up to what self-care means to us. We grab that. And we find things that align with what self-care means to us. Um, and also our why. That's where, that's how you do it. You, mm-hmm. you figure it out what works for you. You try because it's a practice. See if it works, see if it doesn't. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes journaling might be your thing. And sometimes you're like, ah, I don't feel like writing. Right. That's okay. There's different seasons where, um, different activities work for you, work better for you mm-hmm. or fill you up the most. So, being mindful of that again, start going back on yeah. the implementation to see what you need at this very moment and honoring that and making a decision and taking action on getting that done. So yeah. definitely take the limits off of what self care is. I um, love um, so self care can be a morning cup of coffee. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it can be breathing, it can be journaling, meditating, walking, um, exercising, uh, reading a devotional. Um, it could be a prayer, a sermon, a scripture. It could be whatever you need it to be. Sitting quietly, sitting still. Um, it can also be talking to a friend, like, hey, Jessica. It can okay. be catching up with somebody. It yes. could be going out to brunch. It could be having a support group. It could be all of those things. Um, so just really taking the limits off of what self-care is, I think will help with the how am I going to do it and, you know, not making it another task for mm-hmm. yourself. That's stressful. Mm-hmm. You know, you, it's, it's something that you should look forward to. It's something that I crave personally. Um, and I do notice the difference when um not as into my practice as, you know, I like to be. So mm-hmm. consider the things that bring you joy, peace, yes. comfort, mm. what fills you independently and collectively. Um, and start, how much time can I really dedicate to this? Is it, is it five minutes? Yes. Is it time? Even to it, if you're, if you're starting it, you could do a soft lunch, soft lunch self-care. You know, everybody is about the soft life now. So you can mm-hmm. do a soft lunch for the, the self-care mm-hmm. that you're starting. If it's something new for you, I would encourage you to do that um, because, you know, you, you get those wins. So you're, you're more likely to do it if you make it realistic from the challenge. Yeah. Yes. I love it. You, well, you have completely um, taken the words <laughs> that I was going to say, and I wouldn't expect anything less. Um, but as you were going through the who, what, when, where, why, and how, that is what kept coming to my mind is that self-care can be what you want it to be. It doesn't have to be another thing that feels daunting or that you feel like you have to do is something that you decide what it is mm-hmm. works mm-hmm. Best. and it's fluid meaning that what it is today may be something different tomorrow and that is okay like mm-hmm. there are no boundaries there are no limits like you said self-care takes the limits off and the other thing that i loved about all of what you said is that in a world where we have limited control over what happens, self-care puts us in the driver's seat because we yeah. decide it puts the decision in our court. We get to decide what fills us up and then act upon those things. So mm-hmm. I love, love, love everything that you said. Especially, and yes, I definitely appreciated 
asking the questions. <laughs> I thought she was. <laughs> because it's like, okay, I'm going through all of these things. And it's an easy way to remember, mm -hmm. too, how to put self-care into practice. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Love it. Thank love it, that. love it, love it, love it, love it. Well, we have been on now for 45 minutes. I, I can't know. We get to talking. We get to talking, Jessica. Listen, it gets good. And man, it's hard to stop because I personally love the topic. Um, again, it's just, you know, it, even talking about self-care is um fulfilling for me and fills me up because mm -hmm. it just having that intentional mindset um because of mm -hmm. course that's another thing it's all about your mindset and how you think about things um will determine the outcome so putting the um intentional time and thought around how to implement and practice self-care in itself for me is self-care mm -hmm. so absolutely you. you're yes. welcome yes you're welcome. Yes. Thank so you. as we as we round it out, I wanted to play a fun game with you. Um, this or that, as it relates to self care. Okay, so let's do about, it. I have about six prompts that I'm going to ask you. Five and a bonus, um, where you get to decide this or that. And if you want to tell us why, you can. If not, you don't have to, because that's your business, okay. as, as Miss Tab would say. Right, right. <laughs> okay. Right. So let's do this. Okay, this or that. Take a walk or take a hot bubble bath. As it I relates to self care. Take a walk. Take a walk. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I think I would say take a walk too, mm -hmm. especially when the weather is nice. I, yeah. It fills me up. Okay. Um, let's say, let's see, take a nap or binge watch your favorite TV show. Nap all day. <laughs> all day. I knew you was going to say that. I love <laughs> naps. I love naps. Did not appreciate it enough growing up. But yes. Nap. Yes. It's a nap. Listen, it's a nap. we used to get it in preschool. We would have nap time and then they slowly phased that out. Look, I, I can wasn't ready. I can tell on myself now because I don't. I work for myself, but man, I would listen. I was, doing that call. And I was never opposed to closing that door, <laughs> it's my making break. it look hot, and having a little siesta. Because listen, he say quitting. Okay. <laughs> I can yeah. keep my eyes open right here and I just need a rest. Okay. I just <laughs> so need a I, minute. I need a minute. I feel you. I care. <laughs> Take that now. Okay. Take That's that right. <laughs> That's right. Take the nap. Okay. Um, okay. This or that. Clean up your home or plan out your week's to do's. I mean, for some people, clean out, out to do's for 500, Jessica. <laughs> I love to outsource the cleaning. <laughs> no, that is not that is not self care for me. If it is for you, that's great. That well, I will say um, the aftermath feels like mm -hmm. self care. But the actual okay. act of it, I wouldn't call that self-care. So I feel you on that one too. <laughs> Let me write in my in my calendar all day. That's right. <laughs> Let me Google, write down Yay! my week to do exactly. this research and cleaning service. Okay. <laughs> I, I got pens, I got marker, you know, I can make it cute. Yes. Yes. Wow. Okay. <laughs> This or that, journal or meditate? This is an interesting one. I would say I'm I'm leaning more towards meditate. Um, okay. I want to journal more. You know, sometimes I'm on, sometimes I'm off, which is fine. Mm -hmm. But 
just sitting still in silence for me does so much. Um, mm-hmm. I just have my mom, so <laughs> I crave the the peace and the silence and you know the focus and the checking in intentionally with myself that yes. I get from meditation. So love, yeah. love, love. Yes. I think at one point in my life, I would have, I would have chosen journaling over meditation, but I agree with you. Um, just having that moment of, of silence to yourself, um, does wonder. So I, I feel you on that one as well. I think I know what you're going to say to this one, but let's see this or that <laughs> drink, drink a cup of your favorite beverage or bake your favorite treat. Fill my cup. Yes. <laughs> Fill it up. Let it overflow. <laughs> let it o- make it full and then let it overflow. Okay. So yes, my cup. Fill yes, up. I already knew. <laughs> yeah, I already knew yeah, that. I, if, if you got a bag, I mean, it works for something. I gotta mix it, prepare it, put it in the oven, wait, make sure I don't burn it. Then I gotta clean the pot, like. That's a lot of different steps where I can just grab my cup from the cabinet. There we go. Pour. Yes. And and move on. (laughs) And move on. And if you haven't caught Miss um, Sonya's stories, um, she is good at making some good latte uh, coffee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's got it going on. Okay. Yeah. (laughs) My espresso is bay. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. This is our last one. This is a bonus okay. one. This or that. Practice gratitude or get a massage. I would say practice gratitude. Um, okay. Well, I'll say both. Cause yeah. I, I, I love a good massage. Yes. But uh, something that I can do daily, um, that's sustainable. Yes. And intentional is definitely practice gratitude. I actually have in my um, calendar a gratitude log. So every day of the month, I can write something down. I, I've been doing that at the end of the end of the day. And I just love gratitude. I mean, it just keeps you, keeps your mind fixed on something good. It's so easy to veer off into doom and gloom and the swirl or you know, what's not going right or, you know, but just to pause and, and be in gratitude. Yes. Um, I love it. Yes. Love it. On that note, I will have to say, um, I follow a lady on YouTube um, who does awesome meditations. Her name just happens to also be Jessica. I promise. Yeah, I okay. <laughs> Um, but she has just this wonderful gratitude meditation and Mm. I love the way it starts. It just says, thank you for this day. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the air we breathe. Mm. Thank you. Just thank you. Woo. I mean, the meditation goes for probably 15, 20 minutes, but the intro alone had me. I'm like, okay, let me pause it and just be still. Right. <laughs> let me pause it. And just be still because that's, it. that's right. Thank you. Thank you for this day. Thank you for the air I breathe. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's beautiful. Miss Sonya, I'm going to give you five minutes back from this hour. <laughs> And it was so good, though, Jessica. It was yes, so good. So good. As so I already knew it's that it would be. This. Yeah. Yes, thank I already you. knew that it would be um, to say thank you. Um, please let the people know. I know you have your um, social media handle on the screen. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. But if someone is seeking mental health or just needing assistance, um, Please let the people know any last per- parting words that you'd like to share. You have the floor. Yeah. Thank you. So thank you all for watching and attending. Um, I hope you found something helpful out of this. I hope you are called to action um, to implement your self-care plan daily. Um, small steps, big rewards. I've been saying that all year. Small actions, big results. Um, so definitely take your time with it. It's a practice. 
um, if you need any help with developing that. I do have a few slots I'm opening up for coaching. Um, you can find it at www.signingfreefood.com or www.modus.life.llc.com. Um, just fill out my contact form and I will be able to connect with you and see what your need is and how I can be of assistance. So definitely yeah. looking to do more of that. Um, so to follow me on Instagram, I'm there um, at the Sonia Fraser if you want all your self-care motivation words. Um, I do have a blog as well. Um, feel free to subscribe to my newsletter. I'm yeah. going to start sending out some great yes. things um, as yeah. it relates to self-care just to keep us all honest and keep it as an intention. Keep it on the forefront of your your mind by talking to you in your inbox. So. That's right. Love it, love it, love it. Again, thank you so much, Miss Sonya. As Miss Sonya always says, self care is the best care. It is. So we do not take this topic lightly. Um, next week, we will be back again on Thursday with Miss at Mrs. Ashley Chisley, and we will be talking about systems and organization. So again, this month is self improvement month all about how we can self-improve as entrepreneurs and just overall human beings. Uh, Self-care, systems, spirituality, and we'll end it with self-love and authenticity. Um, Thank you all so much for joining. Those of you who joined us, um, if you're catching this on the replay, hope it blessed your life as it did ours. And we will see you next week. Have a great evening. Bye. Bye.